This morning we're cooking with you. Melissa Wocek from Pulaski is with us in the kitchen to share one of her uh, favorite fall recipes, stuffed squash, right? Yeah, stuffed squash. It's a really easy recipe to make and I really like it because it uses leftovers from the night before. Mm -hmm. So it's stuffed with chili. Um, so you can just go ahead and make a chili recipe for your family and then save two cups that you'll put in the squash. That sounds absolutely fabulous. And squash is really easy to cook with. There's a lot of different kinds. This is a carnival squash, probably one of the most beautiful squash. You're holding an acorn mm -hmm. squash. I tend to use these two for the recipe because they don't have quite that sweet taste of a butternut squash. Good tip. Um, so all you'll do, cut it in half and you just have to scoop out those seeds. If you want, you can actually clean the seeds and roast them and then it's a nice little snack for you so you can make sure that you're using the whole product, mm -hmm. which is really awesome. Um, but just scoop it out and then you're going to bake these in the oven for about a half hour. Okay. They're not going to be all the way done after a half hour, but it gives you a glimpse, or it starts the cooking process. At for what temperature them. am I baking them at? 375. 375 at half an hour. Do I need to like cover them with anything? No, nope, you actually can just put them right in a greased pan. Okay. Um, and just set them in there. Don't have to do anything special, and then you'll just put them in the oven. Okay. And I know we have some finished over here, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. I'll grab these. So these, are, I have acorn squash, and then I also have that carnival squash. Mm -hmm. Then you can just let those sit aside. While they're baking, you can prepare your vegetables. So you just chop some onion. While you're chopping away here, uh, tell us uh, about, you, you live on a farm? I do. My husband is a produce farmer. So uh, we are at the farmer's market on Wednesdays, and then we also have a CSA program. Uh, it's really nice because you get to use a lot of your own pro like produce. When I was baking last night, I just went and grabbed some squash and had everything I needed right at the farm. So, that is um, awesome. Cooking seasonably is a lot of fun. You can go to the farmer's market right now and you'll find uh, everything you need from onions and garlic to squashes and there are still a few tomatoes left that you can find. So yeah. um, so then what you do with the onion and hot pepper is just saute it and you really don't need to saute it for long, just about 30 seconds actually, just to kind of get that flavors meshing together. Get it moving. Yep, so a real light saute on that. Okay. Um, I had cooked the chili in advance. We actually had it for dinner last night, and that Perfect. has also all local ingredients. It has um, venison that my husband Ooh, killed. Yeah, so it's um, an all local meal, which is really nice to support the local. Um, keep your know where your food's coming from. Absolutely, so absolutely. Once you saute it, you just add the rice and okay. the chili. Okay, I can help you with that. Do you trust me? I do trust you. <laughs> Am I adding all the rice? All the rice. Okay. And you'll mix it together. Oh, this smells so good. It's really good. And then I you could can eat just, it just like just this. I here. know. Actually, a lot of times you'll have leftovers and you can just munch on it while it's cooking. And how healthy, too. You I know. know. And okay. then you'll just two. take us your squashes, fill up the little cavity that you have. Mm -hmm. And then what I typically like to do, I'll get some cheese from a local place like Nala or Parisi's, mm -hmm. sprinkle that on. So this is a mozzarella goat cheese. Um, you do that with all of them and then bake them for 20 more minutes. Mm -hmm. And this is our final product. Beautiful. Yeah, it's really delicious. Let's set it right down here. We'll give them a real good look at it. All and you'll do is take a fork and it's kind of like if you had like a bread bowl of soup. So you'll scoop yeah. out the squash with the chili. And and how lo how much longer did you put it back in the oven just for? Just about 20 minutes. At what temperature? Still the 375. At 375. Yep. That is so beautiful, healthy, um, and you're using all sorts of local, local ingredients. Local ingredients, exactly. Recipe will be on our website very shortly and stay tuned Melissa will join us in our next hour for another fall recipe thanks so much thank you we'll be right back